initial appeal is being filed for Timothy Bleifnick. Last August, he was sentenced to life in prison after being found guilty of murdering his estranged wife, Becky Bleifnick. Hayden Donaldson joins us now to break down why Bleifnick's lawyers are trying for a new trial. Nearly a year after being convicted of murdering his ex-wife, Timothy Bleifnick and his attorneys have now filed their appeal case to the state. Three items in the appeal brief say why he should receive a new trial. The 50-page brief was filed by Illinois Appellate Defender in the 4th District, Catherine Hart, as well as Assistant Appellate Defender James Waller, representing Bleifnick. In the brief, the two defenders say that three issues are the basis for Bleifnick's new trial ask. The 50-page appeal covers three main arguments being made by Bleifnick's new defense team. The first claims that the court included evidence and witnesses that were irrelevant to the prosecution's case. These include testimony from Becky Bleifnick's friends and family members, along with her divorce attorneys, who testified that Becky was afraid of her estranged husband, with some comments being made by Becky between 2021 and her death in 2023. These comments were admitted under the Forfeiture by Wrongdoing Doctrine, which allows evidence to be admitted if a party has made the declarant unable to testify themselves. The other arguments included in the filing are comments made by lead prosecutor Joshua Jones during his closing arguments. The filing claims that the comments Jones made about some of the evidence counted as unsworn testimony that the defense did not have a chance to respond to. Bleifnick's attorneys also argued that Judge Adrian's actions of not removing prosecutor Josh Jones from the case also denied Bleifnick a fair trial. At the time, Jones was a witness in Robert Adrian's case before the Judicial Inquiry Board, which eventually led to Adrian being removed from the bench. Bleifnick's attorneys say Adrian violated the defense's suggestion of conflict when allowing Jones to remain as the lead prosecutor for Bleifnick's trials. Now the prosecutor's office has until July 15th to submit a response to this filing, following which the defense will have a chance to respond to the prosecution's brief. It's unclear when a final ruling will be made by the appellate court, but Bleifnick's team is also requesting oral arguments be made in the case. In studio, I'm Hayden Donaldson. Thank you, Hayden. We will bring you more news on Bleifnick's appeal as it becomes available. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.